So it's a lot like a blues, but it just doesn't really follow the chord progression like a blues. And I tried to kind of take parts of the song and see if it fit into like a 12 bar or an eight bar pattern. And it sort of does, it sort of does. Um, but you know, like so many songs in the 1960s, it just takes some of the basic elements of the blues. And, you know, uses them to create a, you know, a pop song from the 1960s. Uh, Burt Bacharach did it, the Beatles did it, the Rolling Stones did it, uh, and the Everly Brothers did it. And I believe they wrote this song. And it's a pretty good song, I really like it. And uh, the viewer wanted me to listen to Alison Krauss and the Robert Plant version, but I, I prefer the Everly Brothers. I think it's just as good. The, the singing is, you know, more in tune and tighter. But uh, they're both good versions, for sure. Uh, but the viewer wanted to know about improvisation, like in the key of F sharp. And, you know, I've been doing a little bit of that lately. I've been playing the song Georgia. George is another song that uses elements of the blues without really being a blues. So one thing that's hard to do is that kind of riff could be, and just bending the third, minor third up to the major third. You know, in other keys, G, you just slide off the note, right? C, you do it, F, you do it. Yeah. Guitar key's a little harder, because you've you got to slide up. F sharp, you, know, you got the two black keys up here, so it's even harder. But the good thing about playing in keys like F sharp or B is, is that you don't fall into all your old familiar habits. Uh, you can stumble upon new things easier just kind of because you're making mistakes. And uh, sometimes those mistakes sound pretty good. And you say, hey, that's something cool. And then you look back in the key of F or the key of C and see what it was and say, oh yeah, I never did that before. So uh, the two blues scales, of course, is the, the minor one. Right, and it looks a lot like, like an A major blues scale. Uh, so if, if you've played a lot of like uh, canned heat, I think they got a song in the key of A. It basically uses that kind of scale. We'll just put it down here in F sharp. And you know, I've done it enough because I do the song Caves by uh, Caves of Altamira by Steely Dan, and it's got a kind of a part at the end. Uh, And you see, it goes to an A chord where you do use that scale, but on the other ones, especially F sharp minor, same scale with a different sound for sure. Uh, now, following this exact progression, I mean, if you're going to take a solo on this song, it, sometimes, you know, in between some of the vocal lines, you put a, put a little fill or something like that. So I think I would do something like that. up in B. So it lands on B solidly enough that it doesn't quite feel like the four chord of a blues song. So I think you have to go into a kind of a feeling of, of B. And once again, it's kind of a rough key, you know, and I think I I might add this video on to another video I did about a J.J. Kale song that was in B. So you want to use some of those kind of riffs. And you know, it's just still the same thing. You're bending the, the third up like this. You got a little bit of that kind of blues scale there. I don't know if I'd use that one. I think I'd just stick to what would be the A flat blues scale. 
but used in, in B. So just, just learn it as a B scale. And then we're back to F. The same thing when you get to the C sharp. You know, I think you can use a little bit of the uh, F sharp blue scale there, but... And then it goes to D sharp minor. Yeah, right there, uh, I don't know if I talked about this yet, you know, I've got the F sharp minor blues scale, but then there's this one too, all right, which is really like an E flat minor blues scale, so I'll use that. That'll definitely fit on that D sharp minor there. I think I called it E flat, but in this key we should call it D sharp. And that, that'll fit mostly in, in B as well. Just, just leave that note out. What a great era of music that was. And you got to credit the Everly Brothers with you know, really kind of doing a heavy rock song before its time. I think this song is like in the 50s. And that, that's a pretty, he comes in with a heavy drum beat and then comes in with that guitar on the off beat, playing a real kind of power chord type of thing. Hats off to the Everly Brothers. <laughs> J.J. Kale song for sure and uh, it's what I would call a 16 bar blues all right it, I mean, it feels so much like a blues at the beginning you just gotta call it a blues even though you know 16 bars and just extends a section a little bit that's all uh, as far as the you know the pentatonic goes you know B is a hell of a pentatonic that's for sure you kind of got to just use five fingers or you can go like that two three two three something like that but you know, I was working on this song recently, um, uh, Working Man Blues by uh, Merle Haggard, and that's A flat. So if you take that scale and put it on B, now, I mean, you may already have both blues scales, the B blues scale, the A flat blues scale, which gives you, you know, this little thing. And then, you, you know, you combine them, All right? A little bit of both. Uh, one thing I always used to do in B was put my, my fifth down here and go like. And then go to E. stuck on that riff there on the five chord and you know some uh, some octaves would be good on a song like this that's something I don't do very much of is a uh, play with octaves but I was doing a uh, what was that? I think a dr. Billy Taylor transcription the other day just playing along with a YouTube video and he did all these octaves real fast and everything so you know if you have that technique uh, fourth finger on the black keys usually you can go up five four five four five four five like that uh, and even three sometimes you know Another way would be, let's see. You know, you could, 
I've never tried this, but you could do a fingering where you put your two there. But, you know, that's only going to work on the B chord. Now, you have to be able to reach this to get that. That's more of a full guitar sound there, like that. I, can't, I keep missing that one, so, you know, just do this if you can't reach it. Or this. There you go.